Today I'm going to show you how to save a planner from Adobe InDesign so that you can open it up on your iPad Pro, where to store it, and then what applications to use on your iPad Pro, as well as how to use them. So stay tuned. Hi everyone, I'm Lisa from Pretty Fabulous and I help online businesses create beautiful digital downloads, including those that you can open on an iPad Pro and start using as a planner using Adobe InDesign. So if this sounds like you or something you might be interested in, make sure to hit the subscribe button below. I post new videos every Monday and Thursday. Although I think everyone still loves a beautiful physical planner that they can touch and feel and hold and write in with their beautiful markers and pens and add stickers to, I think digital planners will also be a big contender going forward, especially in 2018 and 2019. And when I say digital planners, I mean planners that you can open up on your iPad Pro, not a digital planner that you need to print out or use in Adobe uh, Acrobat or something else. I mean one that you can actually print out and open up on your iPad and then just start editing and writing virtual notes right there. So today let's learn how we can take the planners that we created in the planner course and other tutorials that I've given and start using them on your iPad. Now, if you remember from last time, we created a daily planner layout and I didn't worry about the margins because I said I was going to open this planner page on an iPad Pro, which we are going to do today. Now, if you want to reference that tutorial where I showed you how to create this daily layout in InDesign, I will leave a link to that free tutorial below. If you'd like to purchase this download already in InDesign, I will leave a link to that. That is the daily planner layout. So this is the second, there are two different daily layouts inside of there. Now, from InDesign, when you have this file open, you're simply going to go to File, and you are going to export this file as a JPEG. So go to export and you should have a few different options, um, PDF or something else. Just make sure you remember what folder you've saved it in and go ahead and say save. Now, after you've saved that document, go to the file folder. And again, I'm using a Mac. So if you're using a PC, it should be pretty much the same, but find where you save that JPEG file and then drag and drop it into Google Drive. Now, I know you could use Dropbox. I actually don't like Dropbox, so we're going to use Google Drive and it's free anyway. And remember, it has to be a JPEG. I know some people are trying to open PDFs and that's just not how the iPad Pro is going to work. Now, once you know where this is inside your Google Drive, make sure you also have Google Drive loaded on your iPad iPad because you're not going to be able to access it there. And you can see this is my personal account, so make sure you're logged into Google Drive on the same account where you drop that file in. So we're going to go over to our iPad, and from here there are two different, well there's really three, but I'm going to show you two today, uh, where you can access this digital planner. So the first one is a free application, it's called Adobe Sketch, and if you go into the App Store over here, it will be called Adobe Photoshop Sketch. Uh, the second application is called Paper by 53. And that's this application here. Now we won't actually be using that one today. I'm only going to show you two. Um, I actually don't like Paper by 53 that much, but I know that some people do. And the third application is Procreate, which is over here, but this is actually a premium product and I've purchased it, so I don't even remember how much it was. And when I say premium, I think it was $9.97. It wasn't going to break them. Now the other application I told you to install was Google Drive and you want to make sure that your Google Drive is linked to your Google account where you drop that file in on the computer. Now you don't have to open Google Drive at all on the iPad, it just needs to be installed because that's how it's going to access the file folders. Now, all right, let's use the first application and that's Adobe Sketch. So we're going to open up Sketch and then inside of Sketch, let me close this. You're simply going to open up a new project, which is this bottom right button plus sign right here. 
and it's going to give you a ton of different options. Our planner is in portrait, so we are just going to go ahead and say portrait, and it's going to be blank. So you're simply going to go over here to the right, you're going to click the plus sign, and you're going to click image layer. And you are going to take this from my files. And from here, you should see that same folder, your file folders for um, Google Drive, and this is the file that you had. So once we're in here, we're gonna, going to go ahead and say open. And then from inside of here, you're going to go ahead and say done. It's gonna give you some options here to flip this horizontal, which we don't want, flip vertical, we don't want that either, or create a grid, and we don't want that. So we're going to go ahead and say done. And then when we're in here, I can go ahead and change to whatever pen I should want. Um, so let's say I'm going to use, so I'm not gonna give you a tutorial on how to use this application as much as we're just going to just use it for our purposes here. Um, now, the important thing here is we're going to create a new layer. So when I say a new layer, that means if I take this layer away, I could delete it and reuse this tomorrow. Um, or if I make a mistake, I won't ruin you know, the actual planner. Uh, if I do an erase, I will only be erasing that one layer that I had written on. So let's go ahead and say today is March 2nd, 20, 2018. And my gratitude reminder is the warm, sunny weather here in San Diego. And my schedule for the day is, let's say I'm going to go to the gym at 6 a.m. I know, wishful thinking. Uh, and then I'm going to block out the morning to film videos, because I do film these in uh, I batch these and film these in blocks. And then let's say, I think that's a Tuesday. I could be wrong. We'll say it's Taco Tuesday, and I'm going to do that with um, my friend Camila. And then after that, I'm going to, let's say I have a discovery call at four, um, and then I'm going to go out to dinner. Obviously, that's not my real schedule. I just kind of put that in. And then over here, I have notes. So if I wanted to, maybe I want to make my notes in pink. Uh, and I could say, I could take notes on my videos. And I could say, film a table of contents, how to. Um, I could say, I'm going to edit some footage, edit an intro as well. Now, here's the problem. Let's say I make a typo, right? So I, or this is all wrong. The whole thing is wrong. I don't really want it. All I have to do is go over here to this layer and I can delete that layer and it's all gone and I have a fresh new sheet for the next day. So that's how to use that first application. Now the second application, Procreate, this is the one that I actually like and prefer. Uh, inside Procreate, you are simply going to go over here and say import and i've already gone to my um, drive you can see i could use icloud drive you could use sugar sync there's so many different um, cloud-based storage systems that you can use uh, and i'm going to go ahead and open up that uh, jpeg that i saved and the same thing works over here with layers so this is my layers panel over here and i'm going to go ahead and hit the plus so now I have a new layer, and over here, let's say this is um, pen selected. Uh, let's say this is April fourteenth, twenty nineteen, and today I'm grateful for spring and flowers. And my schedule's different, so today I'm going to sleep in. <laughs> All right, so you kind of get the idea. It works the same exact way here as it did on the other application. I have different layers, so uh, same thing. If I wanted to, I could simply get rid of that layer, and now my sheet is blank again. So I hope that was helpful. I really think this is a great way for people to utilize digital planners in the future. Um, or in today, I should say the future. The future is now. Uh, so. 
So to recap, one, we learned how to save our planner sheets in Adobe InDesign so that they are digital friendly. Two, we learned what applications we should use both on our desktop and our iPad to open said planner sheets. And three, we learned how to open those sheets on our iPad using two out of three different possible applications. And probably there are even more that I'm not even aware of. Um, so I hope that was helpful. And remember, if you are interested in learning how to create that daily planner layout that we saw today, I will leave a link to that video below and I will see you guys next week. Bye.